What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this time, we're gonna be taking a look at this 13.3 inch display that I just got in. It's a full glass front, 13 inches, full HD, looks beautiful, and we're about to talk about it. So let's check it out. So this is a device that I just got in from the company Ymaxit. Now this is a tempered glass screen display, full HD, uh, 1080p. You got tons of works with this one. Let me unplug it for right now. And let's talk about what comes in the actual box. So in this box, you're gonna actually get the screen itself. You're gonna get your power adapter, power brick right here, USB type A. You're gonna get a USB type A to USB type C cable. You're gonna get one HDMI cable. And you also get a film screen protector as well as a terry cloth. And just to do a little real estate on this screen, it actually comes with a protective cover. I opted to take that cover off just because I like to use my stands. And I also like to use this stand right here that I got from the company Moth. Very slim form factor. And let me show you how this thing works. This stand is magnetic just stands up like that and then you stand your tablet like so but if you notice the protective stand that it had on it came with these holes in the back you can actually mount this um, on your mount like a computer monitor and then if you actually look right here this is where everything is located so if you notice right here you got hdmi you got usb type c you got usb type c now this one is for power only and then you have micro usb on this side over here Flipping it over, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is your exit button and this is your settings and toggle button right here. Nothing else to really see on this thing except that display. And now let's get this thing on because I think you will like using this, uh, especially when you're trying to get productive and while you're using Dex. So when you actually want to use DeX with this, you have to do a little bit more than just plug your phone in. And what I'm gonna do is show you from right over here. I'm gonna plug my phone in to the USB Type-C port. Screen comes on, just like so. And then it's going to just mirror my device. That's all you're gonna get once you plug it directly into your device. Nothing more, nothing less. Now you can still swipe through these screens and you can still do all these different things and that's it now you can turn your phone and do you know dip landscape mode and it'll actually fill the screen up so let's show you that so you can actually put your screen into a landscape mode and it will fill up this display and as you go back to your standard home screen it's going to go right back to that screen but what we want to do now is actually put it in dex mode and you have to add power so using the usb cable that came with this device you just plug that in Give it some power and you should get your dex logo right about now and there your dex screen is so now you have full control over your dex unit and your phone is still right here on the side and we'll just pop this back over here so when you actually get this thing connected and you are using dex mode everything works perfectly you can slap a keyboard with this you can slap a mouse with it like i have over here you can still view all your galleries just double click on that everything that i have over here on this phone i'm still able to use still able to view click out of that if you want to just surf the internet double click on that come over here and there we go anything that you would like or have already been surfing comes up and you get that nice vibrant color right there on the screen just as you would on your phone now the screen display is really good now this thing actually weighs in about four pounds uh like i said you got the tempered glass ips display 1080p i want to show you the actual hdr mode so if you come down into your settings and it actually is on auto right now i'm gonna just turn that off and then i'll turn it on just to show you it changed now it gets a deeper shade of black and all that with your hdr on but if you just turn it on auto whenever you're watching something that is hdr compatible or um you will be able to view it in that mode 
and then just come back out of that menu. All your menus are gonna be activated by these buttons over here. And that is pretty much it. So this is a good companion for Dex. If you need a little bit more screen real estate when you're using your phone, if you wanna be more productive, you can jump into your files. You can increase the size on that. You can come over here to your images, your videos, audio, different documents all those things and you can still use your phone over here on the side. So basically it's like having two devices in one, but you're able to access your phone data as well as be entertained over here on this side. You can still take phone calls, you can still do emails and over here you can have YouTube and whatever else you want running. Matter of fact, this thing actually has its own speaker system built into it. And let's say you find a video that you like. This is obviously my channel. And so the audio automatically plays over here on the phone. But if you come down here into your settings, you can come over here to media and you can actually choose the display device. So now you're actually getting the audio from this device itself. Now, audio from this is not that loud. So if you're looking for a home projector setup, this is probably a great option for you to try out. This is good for home, studio, or office use. Now, when you open the box, you actually get this. So not the actual best speakers on any device by any means necessary, but it does have the ability. I probably leave the audio on my phone over here because the speaker quality over here is not all that great, but I had it on 100%. So let me turn it down to about 50 and then we'll work our way right back up. And volume is controlled through the little toggle on the side right over here. Projector itself. You're gonna get your power cable right here. Over here, you get an HDMI cable. You get audio video. You get a remote. So when I'm looking at this volume 50 going all the way up to volume 100, it really doesn't make a difference and it only sounds like music is or audio is only coming from this left side over here. I'm not hearing anything on that right too much. And so even though we have speakers on both sides, one right here as well as one over here on this side, it only sounds like the audio is coming from one of those speakers. So yeah, only sounds like music or audio comes from one side. I know it does have two sets of speakers, but you're only firing out of one side mainly. So this one sounds a little drowned out over here on this side. This may be a manufacturer issue on this particular device, but for right now, I'm only getting sound off of this over here. So this device is gonna run you about 169. Now, is it worth it? In my book, I'm not 100% sold on this at this price point now it is a beautiful screen it is very portable it does come with a cover which i took the cover off so keep that in mind i have no idea where i put it so please forgive me for that but for that price point i would like a better speaker system i mean just a, you know a little bit more better and that's really my only gripe with it display is beautiful Connectivity is great. You can even connect your video game systems to this, such as your Nintendo Switch, but remember, you are going to have to have a power source connected for your Nintendo to work. Has two USB, remember one of those is dedicated to power, one is dedicated to video, you also have HDMI, and you have a micro USB up top. You also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter that's dedicated right over here on the side so you can plug your headphones up and listen and you don't have to worry people around you. So it's good for viewing movies on the go, um, gaming on the go, uh, typing, productivity with your mouse on the go, surfing the internet, different things like that. It's going to be great and it's going to be approved for all those things. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.